Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, AK Read. Today we're going to be reading the book, The Boy from the Dragon Palace. The Boy from the Dragon Palace. A poor flower seller found no one to buy his flowers. So he decided to give them to the dragon king, who lives beneath the sea. A gift for you, dragon king, he called. And he tossed the flowers into the waves. The water began to swell. Suddenly, a beautiful lady came up from the sea. She held a little boy in her arms. A thank you from the dragon king. The man took the little boy. This child has the snottiest nose you ever did see. What will I do with this snot-nosed boy? He will b bring you luck, said the beautiful lady. But you must make him shrimp. You must make shrimp for him every day. Put it in vinegar. Put it in sugar. He likes that. And she disappeared beneath the waves. The man carried the boy home and made him some shrimp. He put in vinegar, he put in sugar. I spent my last coin on shrimp for you. If you are going to bring me luck, you have better start now. The little boy picked up the ball and slurp, he swallowed it all. The, nit, the little boy set down the ball. He snuffled his nose on his right sleeve. He snuffled his nose on his left sleeve. Then he blew his nose really hard. Hink, hink, hink. And the floor was covered with coins. Now the flower seller was able to get rice and fish for himself and more shrimp for the snot-nosed little boy. The next day the flower seller thought, I wonder if the snot-nosed little boy can provide other things too. That night when he fed the little boy his shrimp, he said, this wooden hut is a very poor home. I wish I had a larger house. The snot-nosed little boy picked up the bowl and ate his shrimp. Slurp. Then he snuffled on his right sleeve. He snuffled on his left sleeve. And hunk, 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 the house began to change. The house became a pl palace. There was rich clothing for the flower seller and silk cushions all about. That night, when he fed the snot-nosed little boy, he said, It would be nice if I had some servants to take care of this palace and some cooks to prepare my dinner. Slurp, snuffle, snuffle, hunk, hunk, hunk. The doors opened and servants marched in. The next night, the flower seller said to the cook, You make shrimp for the snot-nosed little boy. The cook put in vinegar, the cook put in sugar. But the snot-nosed little boy refused to eat. So the flower seller had to make shrimp himself and feed the snotty child. And of course he thought, some, or thought of something more to ask. It would be wonderful if I had chests full of treasure. Slurp, snuffle, snuffle, honk, honk, honk. It was done. Every night, the man thought of something else to ask for. A beautiful garden to walk in, a pond with golden fish, dancers to entertain me. The flower seller had everything he could possibly want. Still, each day he had to go down to the market, buy shrimp, cook it up and feed the snot-nosed little boy. What a nuisance this is. 
I'm sick of looking at this snot-nosed little child. I'm too much busy to be making shrimp for him every day. And it is so disgusting to watch him eat. So the foul cellar took the snot-nosed little boy out of the palace. He set him down on the road and said, That's enough with your snotty nose blowing. Go on back to the sea where you belong. Then he went inside and shut the gate. The snot-nosed little boy looked at the closed door and sadly shook his head. Then he snuffled on his right sleeve, he snuffled on his left, and hunk, hunk, hunk. Instantly, the palace disappeared. The garden disappeared. There was nothing but a wooden hut. And the flower seller, who was very, very poor. But down in the Dragon King Palace, the snot-nosed little boy was slurping shrimp. You just can't help some humans, he muttered. So true, so true, said the Dragon King. They always want something more. The snot-nosed little boy snuffled, and he never once said thank you. And that's the end of this book, The Boy from the Dragon Palace. I hope you enjoyed this read aloud. Stay safe and take care.